Hello people of the internet, it is June 18th, 2020, and today I'm going to be talking about a couple items I picked up on Craigslist yesterday. I have the Noble Collection Lord of the Rings edition of Glamdring, and the United Cutlery Scabbard to go with Glamdring. So let's start with the sword. When I saw this in the ad, um, I could tell it had a couple of cosmetic flaws, but the main thing I was interested in was the scabbard, so I'm not too concerned about this. Originally I thought this was um, one of the thousands of Hobbit version glam drinks that are floating around, but uh, once I started opening up I realized that it's quite a bit older. It's I think 2003 is when the Lord of the Rings version came out, so given the time it's definitely got some blemishes, but again I said the scabbard was the main thing I was interested in. So in my collection I've got a lot of the United Cutlery weapons and just on first glance and kind of holding the weapon it doesn't strike me as anything too noticeably different as far as craftsmanship or anything. I know the Hobbit glam during that Noble collection does is blue but one thing the wrap here is definitely a black so it does contrast a little bit with the United Cutlery scabbard which is a navy blue. craziest thing with this Lord of the Rings Noble Collection Glamdring is this crazy plaque that came with it. So I had seen pictures of the Hobbit version plaque which is just blue and silver and a lot smaller but I was really surprised when I pulled this thing out of the bottom of the box because I have never seen anything like this. It's huge, it's probably about five or six pounds. So looking around on the internet yesterday, I was trying to find any of these. I don't know what they're worth, but I think it's pretty cool. Kind of a pain in the butt to clean, I will say that. So a nice little bonus there, a really cool plaque. All right. Noble Collection Certificate of Authenticity. Unlike the United Color ones, they're all generic. They're the same one. It's not specific to the weapon. So, um, crafted by our master sword makers in Toledo, Spain, yada, yada, yada. Nothing too cool there for the certificate. Let's see, let's move on to the scabbard. So like I said, this was, when I saw the ad on Craigslist, what I was interested in just because looking on eBay or anywhere else online, I wasn't able to find this, so... Given that it's 2020 and so much time has passed since United Cutlery released these items, they're really rare, so I jumped on that. And, to my surprise, it was actually in good shape. The seller made me nervous. She said, yeah, you'll definitely be able to tell it's used, so I was expecting the worst, but here's the scabbard. Metal is in really good shape. It's not tarnished or anything. There is maybe one spot where the leather leather is kind of deteriorated but aside from that I was impressed this is in really good condition. Still have the plastic wrap. Got the fasteners and the buckles a little bit kind of um, warped there but they're still in pretty good shape. All right. Certificate of Authenticity for the scabbard compared to the United Cutlery Weapons. This is about as bare bones as it gets. There's no illustration or anything, but again, just having the COA is important, so glad that came with it. And here is the original packaging. Unlike United Cutlery, it doesn't have an like illustrated or any image printed on the box it's just a styrofoam box um, this side is for the giant plaque and then underneath of it is for the weapon itself so original packaging that came from the noble collection in 2003 and that's a wrap the sword it's okay nothing special um, again I'll have to do a little more research and see if it's worth any more because it is 
um, Lord of the Rings edition, not the Hobbit one, which is definitely a ton of those floating around. Plaque is definitely my favorite part, just because it's I haven't seen anything like that. And I am very excited about the scabbard, just because it's rare. And it'll probably join my collection sitting under my bed and gaining dust. So, I hope this video has served you in any way, shape, or form. The main thing, I guess, was just showing you the Noble Collection Lord of the Rings version and seeing if anyone knew anything about that, especially the plaque. So, I just haven't been able to find any online and kind of compare the value. So, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace out.